Ah, to ground or not ground? That is the question. Stick around, we'll find out how do you put this on? Do you ground it or not? So stick around. Hi right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about uh, the RS cover. There is, it's gonna be a very short video. I wanna talk a little bit about uh, some code things. I'm not gonna really go deep into the code. I'm gonna tell you, uh, first of all, I wanna say that the code is there for the bare minimum. So if you can excel over that and still be in code or better than code, I suggest you do it. Now, the question that I've had <laughs> a lot is, first of all, how do you hook one of these RS covers up? So I just did a video on that and we'll talk about that a little more at the end of the video. But uh, I was asked another question. When you are grounding these, and this is a self grounding receptacle, do you have to bond the box? So do you? Well, code says if you use a self grounding receptacle, you do not have to ground the box. As you see, I did. And let me tell you my reasoning. So the whole reason why you technically don't have to is because after you put this into the box, right, you have a self grounding receptacle. Once this is connected to this, it is sucked together. It's tight, it makes a good connection. Chances of getting anything loose and getting away from you, if it does, a wire loose and comes in contact with your box, it will potentially short out. That's what's supposed to happen because you are bonded here in this yoke. It bonds this and it bonds this, okay? Now, what happens after you, let's just say you don't have this screw in here, so let's take it out, all right? So you didn't, you didn't bond your box, okay? All right, and let's say you have, uh, let's say you tape your ground up or whatever the case may be. All right, and let's say you don't, you don't tape your ground up. All right, you put it in here, it's all together. All right, now let's say you go to pull it out and it's sitting like this. All right, and let's say you have a nick on your wire and it's touching the box. Well, after you pull this out, that hot wire is sitting here waiting on you. So my opinion on grounding is this. I agree, code says, you don't have to put a ground screw in there. You don't. However, if you do not, and you pull this out, let's say you pull it out and the ground is fine, but you've got a hot wire sitting like this. Well, if you go to touch this box and you're grounded, you're gonna get shocked, plain and simple. And my opinion on this is, go ahead and ground the box too. So. That way, when you pull it out, right? Let's, let's look. So we'll ground the box. Let's say you put it back in and everything's working perfect. You have to work on this receptacle for whatever reason. You take this out, all of a sudden now this ground that was only here and on this plate that was connected to the box is no longer, it's broken. But since you decided to run that ground screw in here, now you have a continuous ground in there. So no matter what happens, if this wire does get loose, it will short out. So in my opinion, guys, go that extra, go that extra mile, go ahead and ground the box along with the plate like you're supposed to do. All right, it doesn't take but a second. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of this video about how to hook up a RS cover. Now, RS cover, if you don't know, it's raised steel. If you look beside of me, guys, you will see a video coming up. You wanna watch how to wire this particular cover up along with switches and GFIs. Go ahead and click on that video and I'll see you in that next video. You wanna see what happens next, make sure you like and subscribe. God bless and we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.